early game, Aatrox is like, all right, <laughs> I am not messing around yeah. with uh, Renekton and Sejuani early. Maybe after we get some levels here, they can they can turn something around. These grubs, so a great start from Whipple in the soul lane. Mid lane, the charm start hasn't really amounted to much, and the flash is almost like it's going to be any extra action down there. And Umpty visits topside as Impact is almost dead. Impact pops the world ender. Whippo has his dominance, but Inspired is here for the counter, and Umpty has to leave his top laner to die. First blood for Inspired. Nicely done. FlyQuest crushing on the top side. That is all Bwipo. Yeah, it's Inspired getting the kill, but Bwipo dominates the 1v1, forces out the early TP with no buy, then TPs back and crushes him. Treasure line onto Masu, the Ignite already cleansed, but a flash from Yon can secure the kill. He doesn't even need to. Gets the 1v4 as Busio now on the back end. A 2v2 by Yon and Kord. Impact still doesn't have World Ender quite yet. It looks like it's just coming off cooldown, but they get the CC stun, and it's just too easy for the FlyQuest jungle top duo. Yeah, that is perfectly done there. Inspired pulls aggro with the passive from the armor. Bupo flashes in with the empowered stun, guaranteeing the Glacial Prison to come through there from Inspired right after. Nice and easy. They make it look flawless, and Impact is out of this game. Well, what do Team Liquid do now, folks? I mean, if you're topside, who has been the most <laughs> Yeah, everybody's been doing it, especially since the Frozen oh. Heart nerf. Masu's in trouble, has Flash and Cleanse available, but he knows oh. that he's a goner either way. Yawn picks up How efficient Knight's Vow is, and there was a little change uh, that they did to Knight's Vow this season. It has actually been this way for the whole season, um, where it is not pre-mitigation damage anymore. Yeah, uh, so you actually do get mitigated, and so you take less damage, um, and feels really, really nice, mm -hmm. uh, allowing for... Just a shadow impact here, because Whippo can just threaten to take the turret. The minions might just take it by themselves, as he barely... Oh, man, has the ultimate, and he has Flash, but Whippo might just corral him in a corner, and he's got Jensen as backup as well. The Weaver's Wall is going to cut off the escape route. Impact might try to Flash, but it might just be a little too late here. Impact, just one more movement to go, but Jensen just throws rock after rock but after... But Umpty still has the dragon being whittled down. And this should be the second dragon of the game going over to Team Liquid. So they do is they back off, but they know Renekton moved up to mid. So Kor and Yon walk into the bot side jungle, ward that up, and actually guard that jungle. So Bwipo couldn't walk back down and stop APA from taking the tier one. So that's really nice movement around the map. Yes. There, onto Busio. Um, but if someone's behind Busio, maybe it goes bad. So that's what he's worried about. And the pain train does not stop for impact as he is cut off by Jensen once again. Another death Brutal. in the top laner. Even, of and he's incredible at it. All right, teleport coming in from impact. 3v1, potential onto Whippo. Inspired is running as fast as possible. The Dominus is popped. Ash Arrow is going to stop Impact and Distracts. And the global power from a fly quest. The Avengers are coming in. And this just might make Team Liquid really regret this decision. APA forced a Spirit Rush backwards. And now they're on the run. Whippo gets charmed up here. But the flash into the stun. Enough damage. Jensen follows three. The three-man knockup is not going to matter. Oh. As the seismic shove definitely matters. Triple kill for Jensen. Looking for more. Masu picks up the last kill. Oh my goodness, it's brutal. Talia's so good coming in to defend when the enemies have invested so much chasing deep there onto Whippo. FlyQuest are gonna run over the map now. After a play like that, it just blows the map wide open. They already had a giant gold lead, but now they stop the dragon stacking and they get uh, the bottom outer tower pushed in as well. Jensen's even taking away your Gromp. Like, nothing is yours anymore. Yeah, this is brutal. Not even 20 minutes in, 5.5k. Last cone up there behind Baron, wasn't there? They, they, yeah. They're coming down to the front instead. 8,000 HP on the Baron. Umti does not have flash, so once he gets in, it's a one-way trip with the wind becomes lightning into the audacious charge. He sees it. He's able to keep the Baron in his range. Impact is flanking from the left side. Great charm, lands on a Jensen. That's a big shutdown, goes over to Yawn. But the Baron is secured by FlyQuest as um and Yawn try to deal with Whippo, who is trying to distract the back line. APA finds another one onto Busio in the back. Inspired is cut off, trying to corral around Whippo. This might have just gone wrong for FlyQuest. They need to keep their Baron buffs alive as Whippo now turns right back onto um oh. But Yawn pops him like a balloon! Inspired is now on the run. Court JJ is back from the grave, and he's got vengeance on his mind as Masu might just be the next one. Team Liquid have turned this game around. 
they actually end up losing over 3,000 uh -oh. gold. Whippo is here. Inspired is almost critically low, but he's going to be saved by his teammates for now. But now he's going to be pinned in by the Weaver's wall. He's got nowhere to go. His impact comes in and takes him out of the fight. But Yawn falls to Whippo and Busio on the back end. Jensen is pumping out the damage with these rocks. AP tries to get in with the Spirit Rush, finds Masu in the back, but impact is now left alone. And this match is turning out to be a bloody one. Yeah, this is turning into an to the benefit of FlyQuest, because then their carries just get to dump damage. Impact might be gone. Still has Flash, pops the World Ender, turns on to Jensen. Umzi is here for the counter, the there Flash you. over the wall, and Inspire can't do anything to save Jensen! Oh. Big shutdown to Umti. That is massive. Umti comes in right at the right time, and there's another fight mid. Teleport from Impact, tries to join the fight. Whipple already flashed in to try to guarantee the kill onto Yawn. He finds it. Impact is there, finds revenge. Masu pinned against the wall. Inspire comes in, tries to save Masu. He's still alive. He's kiting this one out. Masu is still hitting, and no one is hitting it. Oh, that is League of Legends right there, baby. While they make a pick on the top side, Team Liquid still try and fight mid, but FlyQuest still reign supreme. Masu collects the Quadra. It's the rookie Masu going crazy on the Kalista in that mid lane fight. Even with <laughs> Jensen down, it just didn't matter. TL pile in, but they had spent so much on getting those- Try and split push. <laughs> oh, Jensen throwing Wasn't his buff this match? into the ring. It is one of our featured matchups for this game. Jensen has so much experience. The the analyst What's used that? the segment shove first on Core JJ, and then it wasn't ready when the Ash Arrow was up. Oh, he'll go from the prison, but Core JJ gets knocked up. AP on the side, threatening the flank. Impact on the right side of the flank. They've pincered FlyQuest from both sides. The solo laner showing up huge from Team Liquid. They're gonna find Inspired as well, and Blipo's cut off from the rest of the team. What an incredible fight from Team. They come in from both sides at once. Whippo had early popped the ulti previous to that, thinking he was going to be able to get a play. Oh, and the trash talk <laughs> continues from APA. I mean, that's uh, that's my feeling. Is it, it was a really big choke because they just they didn't have the follow up. And man, uh, oh, we'll see if this pick is going to happen. There. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Jensen just pops poor JJ. There you go. The guarantee. It's going to keep him safe for now. Yeah, I mean, especially with the with the trash talk. Mm -hmm. they're, they're the ones who started the trash talk. <laughs> and if uh, if there's a clap back. Ah! Charm doesn't connect onto Whippo. Yawn was in hot pursuit as well. Chain of Corruptions does land. And the damage should be enough. The Seraph's Gage is popped. Tries to turn around, looks for the Empowered Healing, but it's not gonna be enough. This does give FlyQuest the opportunity to take the third dragon. I mean, that is that is a, a good dragon here for FlyQuest. And we'll see if they can actually get towards Soul. That's their third straight dragon after TL were able to get the first couple. But TL is staying aggressive. They're staying active on the map. And this is what you have to love from a really team. Really good winning. avoidance there from the uh -oh. veteran, but. Okay, he dashes through, but he gets clipped by the Unraveled <laughs> Earth. And Impact will get shut down. But they're gonna lose their inhibitor tower. Is this even worth it? They lost the tier two. They're gonna lose their tier three. Now TL have to run, because now you gotta get out of there. Make sure you don't actually die on the exit. Teleport. Whippa wants to cut their escape route as fast as possible. Charm already lands on Busio. They kite him back. Inspired. Q flash. Lands the knock up on the Yawn. Seismic shove connects. Yawn is gone. A majority of the damage from Team Liquid is already out of the fight. Core JJ is left behind and Umti and APA run for the hills. And you can see the immediate pings there from FlyQuest towards mid lane. You know, they're, because you've got multiple towers, they're worth a lot of gold, but Umti's still got to huff it out of here. Yeah, they are in hot pursuit. Jensen, he's going to land a blind a shove. Doesn't quite connect it, but the slow is going to be enough. Permafrost stacking up. Inspired taking turret damage. They want to get this kill. Is it enough? The seismic oh. shove once again. Look for all. At your door. Guess what? There's the arrow. Spirit rush dodge. Weaver of Wall from Jensen comes in. They're going to get this middle inhibitor for free. Do they want to push for the end? They've got six Void Grubs, remember. Eh. I mean, I'm, I'm still dead for 25 seconds or so. And look but at bot lane. Th look at bot lane. They're losing their... That just might ring true at the end of this game. Stretch line does connect on the Jensen. Chain of Corruptions is caught by Inspired. APA is caught in the middle as Inspired blocks him on the route. Whippo is trying to zone off Yon into the backside. APA is taken out of the fight. Masu can now just free hit. The rest of Team Liquid are getting eviscerated. This is a FlyQuest win, surely. FlyQuest have done it. That's an ace for nothing. A quadra kill for Masu to clean it up. They all piled in on the rookie, but they couldn't take him down. And FlyQuest made him pay. FlyQuest are able to endure the back and forth fights, the challenges by Team Liquid in the opening of this series. But game one belongs to FlyQuest, and they will go up 1-0.
double quadra kills uh, in the game here for Masu. Uh, I think that reaction says it all that we needed. Yeah. We save five pick for Kasante Out of 10, that's a, into uh, the Udyr. I mean, Kasante doesn't, uh, and now Kasante has no ghost, and Vega and ran straight dead. top lane with, and he has no ward, so he is probably just going to die here. Very, very likely. Intact uh, is looking a little cooked here. In he has W, but has he's flash. Like, maybe he's out for the one. W. There one, it is. Please. Yeah! First blood for Inspired. But right now, TL is actually looking to crash this top wave, and it looks like it's going to be a complete banger in the top side. Now, Masu with the roam. It's a three on one because Umti is completely cut off. Oh, can he ward hop over the wall? It's just a flash. Nice maneuvers from Umti, but the flash follow from Inspired doesn't land the Spectral Maw, but just one more blade of the Ruined King takes out Umti. Oh, two early kills for Viego as well is so devastating. This champion is so OP when it's ahead. It's able to get its own resets. It's so hard to take down. Just a really smart roam from Masu that made all the difference. This is some of the power that people talk about with Senna TK, but Senna Nautilus in this case, but same principle is that you are not locked down towards that bottom lane. It's so hard to dive these tanks that are farming down there so he can... Not quite. Inspired is also going to be here to make sure that they can't get the second crash in, but in oh. fact, going for all out onto Whippo. It's level six versus got level him. six. He got He's got him. the power, and there it is. Impact nice. gets retribution in the top lane. Dude, very well played from him. Wow. Tactical Brilliant. int. Nice. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Yeah, he called it a mistake. He was seeing two steps ahead. Exactly. He's a lot smarter than me. This yeah. guy. Dragon trading for a red buff in top side camps. Uh, so Viego's going to get a little bit of a lead, but. Realistically. Ooh. Chain of Corruption, right on to Busio, might be in trouble. Sonic Dead. Wave connects, and he ward hops in to maximize the execute. So far right now, FlyQuest bringing the numbers advantage to secure what should be six scrubs for themselves. The rest of Team Liquid are trying to feint towards the river. Umti trying to get in range to see if he can at least smite one of them to guarantee at least it won't be six, but all six scrubs are secured by FlyQuest. APA is pushing on the bottom side of the map, gets the force TP out of Jensen. And so far, FlyQuest kind of rocking. Oh, Jensen's going to fire out the Spiraling Despair. It's a teleport coming in from Whippo. AP has a oh, but he solo kills Jensen before Whippo gets there. And if Impact can get there in time, he can bail out APA out of a bad situation. He's out of there. Nicely done by APA. He'll know they can't challenge him. The too. <laughs> a nice little backstep to actually dodge that stun, and now they're looking for another. Lucio might be in trouble. Death charge on the two, but Umti is here. Oh, was trying oh. to predict the flash, but it's just a little too wow. late. It doesn't matter. Jan cleans up the kill on the back end of it. His impact might be chasing down Whippo. Should be fine as he just runs back to the tower. Yeah, he's going to be able to get out of Ziggs there. right now, both mid and bot towers are very, very low. I wouldn't be surprised to see Ziggs just push this top wave and run straight mid and just satchel the tower. Um, and and Busio doesn't have the ulti, but they've cut him off from his escape route. So he's just going to farm up the minion wave. No way for APA to get out. The Spiraling Despair is going to take him out in the end. And FlyQuest, they finally oh, got the him. squad, man. There is five bots. You've been typing APA, too much. I hope you have your pen ready because you're going to sign some fan signatures from all five members of FlyQuest. The teleport comes in from Impact, but it's too late. They've already got their man that they want. Everyone's all coming out from TL. Keeping. They take out Inspired. It's a huge He's shutdown. The, the rest of Team Liquid, the reinforcements are here. Wimpo is run down by Yawn. The rest of the members of Team Liquid have corralled around FlyQuest. Spiraling Despair is going to be huge on the damage. Core JJ will eventually pop as Busio's left to die. But Yon <laughs> finds Jensen in the back half as well. ABA is in their heads, man. You're going to send five bot for that dive. They end up losing so much more. Four kills. They lose the tower, which is actually... Disabling chat. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we cannot be serious. I agree. Busio might be in trouble here. Severing Bull gets some decent damage on the Umpty and Impact. Busio's forced to flash. I mean, he's out of there, but that gives Team Liquid priority gone. for this mid wave. Yeah, you have the Herald for the Ziggs. They're going to look to go for an extra one maybe here and look to W the tower as Ziggs. It's going to be really, really hard for Tail to, I mean, hard for Fly to deal with this, rather. Teleport is forced out of Jensen. Here comes, or it's Busio, my mistake. Impact. Separated from the rest of the squad That's here. Doesn't have all out, so he can't go over the wall quite yet. Oh. So he positions for Inspired. The alley oh. right into the rest of the team. Can FlyQuest carry the momentum forward? Whippo's charging on the right side of the flank. Jens is trying to deal the damage as well, but he's... Uh, can we look at Masu as well? He finds another frontline member, but Yon is just firing arrow after arrow. He steps up. The flash forward. Yon puts him down into the ground. Since then. 
I mean, I don't know if it's the APA chat log messages that it's really throwing fly quick. He has no summoners, and he is in an awkward spot. We'll they, see if he can get out. They need to protect him. Death Charge connects right onto the flashless yawn. Dawning Shadow gets some damage. The Spiraling Despair could just be his doom. And he is taken out of the fight by Jensen. Now up to APA to see if he can find the damage. He already threw out the Mega Inferno Bomb. It's impact. Trying to think very fast. Uh, does have the grub damage to help out with that, but they're gonna be able to go down, get this tier two bot. So we'll be able to claim that. Not too bad. It's a good pick on the yawn. They need to try to force around the missing summoners that you were talking about, Fudge. Um, but something to help them though. Oh, teleports. Oh, double, double teleports coming in for APA. He has to walk to the right side of the jungle where he can join his team. He flashes the safety, but now they're getting pincered around. Can they buy space? 4JJ tries to find the flank on the right side, and they have to peel towards that side of the flank, but APA is taking on the fight. Umti's back into the back line. Yawn can't hit. He was separated from the fight for the first few seconds. Now he's trying to hit as well, but the Jumbo. rest of Team Liquid, they're starting to get taken down as Inspire is looking for the resets, finds the Spectrum Mall, but he gets bursted by Yawn! And now it's a three-on-two against FlyQuest. Has the dodge of severing Jensen's bolt. Low. Jensen is looking for more damage. He doesn't know where Yawn, he is. Is he going to try to assassinate him from the back? Line. Oh, he's just getting a recall out. He's out of there. Wow. Yeah, well played there. Yawn early on couldn't Wait. actually hit very Wait. hard. He's going to find Masu. So much HP. Oh! Oh! Trade one for one. Yeah. Nice. Actually, yeah. So FlyQuest will get here, and it's going to have to likely be a turn unless they think they can just peel Inspired. Yeah, they're not committing all the damage to it quite yet. 4,000 HP. Yawn is still hitting, but they find Inspired, and they want to lock him down immediately. But Busio finds APA in the back half. Busio using the Death Charge to go through all every single Yawn. member. Flashes right on top of Yawn. Yawn is completely isolated from the rest of his team. FlyQuest have found the vital carries for Team Liquid, and they run away with this fight. This was such a close fight. Back and forth in so many of them, and then now FlyQuest just crashed rush them. They can't run in and kill your ADC because it's going to be in a bad position. And here, they, they really couldn't hold the chokes because Sante was just getting chunked to the death. Six tried his best, but he couldn't really do anything. I feel like the Baron style was just a bad start from Team Liquid. It did not pan out great for Team. Like, um, as soon as he ults away, there's just so much distance made. Center Root hits up a couple members of Team Liquid here. Whippo is able to make it on out. Down 50% HP. Dredge line connects onto Umpty. Tries to ward hop, but he was interrupted by Busio. And the rest of FlyQuest clean up another kill. Yeah, that's rough. Umpty goes down again. And, you know, thinking back to the previous fight as well, had Umpty just been playing on his AD and just kicks Udyr away, Nautilus isn't going to solo kill that guy, right? right? So, you know, they are, do make some mistakes. They are going to pay for it big time, though, because this is a six scrub team with Baron. It means they're going to get full access to your towers. They're going to be knocking them down in a hurry. And now TL are going to have to kind of hold the fort here, try to weather the storm. They have some pretty good wave clear, but it's going to be tough. Yeah, they're likely just going to end up having you give, give this inhib. Yeah, six grubs is just impossible to do. Masu is just wailing away at the inhibitor tower. This inhibitor should follow next. Umpty is still not up for another five seconds. And just like that, FlyQuest have broken this game wide open and open walking lane. This way, he's walking into the Barris. Yeah, Whippo might just be but completely they're gonna towers mid. Yeah, I, yeah. Have, I think Whippo is just giving his life while FlyQuest maybe potentially just takes three towers, maybe an inhibitor on the back end of it oh as well. Gosh. I mean, Whippo's bought a lot of time knowing he escapes, escapes, right? The Mega Inferno Bomb, he's surrounded by his team. He's out of there. Whippo oh, just yeah. throws up the gold TFT emote. The rest of Team Liquid are now trying to collapse. They have to force this fight while they have particularly a numbers advantage here. Umpty all in everything on Nabustio. He's separated as Inspired is getting chased down by Impact. Umpty joins the fray as well. Inspired is taken out. Bustio is isolated. He's going to be gone in just a moment. But the rest of FlyQuest still have pressure through this bottom lane. Yeah, they do get those two towers mid, and Whippo does. <laughs> <laughs> by, by, by going for that top wave, his mid, his mid lane, there's four people on his team showing. There's no one on the enemy team showing. Crazy ability in League of Legends, y'all. As Inspired is wrapping around, trying to see if they can look for a flank. Impact. Soaks up a lot of the damage already. Spiraling Despair thrown down into the top laner. MT looking for the kick into the core. JJ Magnet Storm. That was huge from Team Liquid, but can they carry this fight? Inspired is looking for the reset, but doesn't find it as the stasis from Yawn keeps him safe. Team Liquid just found a crucial play in the second game of the series. Man, this is exactly what I was talking about, though. They've been throwing the Null Assault onto Yawn. Every those blight stacks up. Then you do the damage. This time he was gifted the opportunity to do so, and the Seekers as well pay dividends as he used it on the Heartbreaker from Inspired as he ulted on top of him. Perfectly stasis is that. Yawn plays it out well, and we'll see if they can secure it. Should be theirs. It's a teleport Flyquist. from Whippo to see if they can try and cut off any members here. Whippo's going to look to run. One shot's the center, and this team fight couldn't even get flash off and hold so much space. Oh, Jensen's in trouble. Oh, no. Jensen, he has flash available. Teleport is coming in from Busio to see if they can salvage it, but Jensen's completely cut gone. off from the rest of the team. Impact is leading the charge now. See if he can find another knockup on any of these members from FlyQuest. 
Team Liquid. That's Soul, very likely. Yeah, five Jensen. on four. Yeah, Jensen gave over a freebie there. That is rough. I cannot believe these games. <laughs> <laughs> so, such a banger. It's a, a, a preemptive flash from Masu. He was scared of impact looking for the knock up there. The rest of Team Liquid, can they look for another play? Just completely pulling them off the mid lane. Dragon Soul is for the taking, and they are just strong. Yeah. I think people always feel, you know, way too strongly about, oh, the proc doesn't work well with my champion's ultimate. 20% move speed is 20% move yeah. speed. Cassante like, presses R and he runs a your carry. What are you gonna do? Well, and when we'll you press out. R, that's even more. You get 40% boost plus 20% yeah. flat all exactly, the time. Yeah. So it's just like, they're going fast. Senna has no flash. MT is looking for the play. Just kicks Busio. And the impact is on Y'all the left side as though. well. Inspired is trying to look for the flank. They already take out Busio. Can Inspired find these? No, he cannot. No reset city. Umpty right onto the back line, chasing out Jensen and Masu. But the front line is gone from FlyQuest, and a back line cannot be enough to stand up against Team Liquid's charge. Yeah, we'll see. Six. They're pressuring. They're going to look for the end here. Masu could be in some trouble. This would be a risky one to take. He doesn't have his ulti, so they're going to try to go for it. But there's only a couple minions, and there is low health bars. And Jensen... Ours has flash ult in two seconds. We look for it. Just keeping the minions protected. APA just completely blows up one Nexus turret. APA, I know, has still had some flubs here and there, but he has been undeterred by any of the focus from FlyQuest. Whereas when we watched the regular season, so many unforced errors was the story, but it looks like he's bringing his best for this series today. Yeah, yeah they're looking really good. I think Yon, especially, really standing out in this one. Uh, and if they're not CCing him, he is destroying him. Could be the last chance here for FlyQuest, but I looking mean, inspired. Almost died. So in to Yawn there on the back, forced to flash. Inspired's gonna recall. This inhibitor tower already fell in the top side of the map, and they should make quick work of the inhibitor itself. Super Minion's pouring in through the mid wave. She'll be pouring in soon through the top side as well. Quipple taking a lot of damage. There's the engage, the Magnus Sword run on top of it. AP and Yawn pouring as much damage as they need to. Impact, Jensen, Inspired, all fall in a flash, and the rest of Team Liquid, victorious in their bounce back, will tie up the series in this second game. Oh, gonna go for one more kill in the Nexus. Not gonna be able to get it, but it is a win for TL. We're tied up one to one. Best plays in both mid and top where he wants to go. Rumble. That's the change. The Rumble locked in for Impact. Okay, so that's what they changed. Yeah, with their with their five dropping. The Bottom lane has evolved into a banger, especially with how well Yon has been performing. Now both sides have taken the engage support. Uh, melee supports down here. Core JJ is so good at all of these Ooh. melee melee matchups. Inspired, uh, looking to get spicy, but Umpty's here too. Yeah, reads it. Meanwhile, top side of the map, first blood for yeah. him. But I did see the end of it. I mean, it's impact level three versus level two, so I don't know if he just got the level up. And now Whippo trading into him again. You do not want to fight an overheated Rumble, but it's a good trade back. He's trying to clip him. Still has flash available from both top he laners. Just oh, 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 oh. Impact is able to get in his head and wait until the very last frame. I, I love it because he knows when I turn around to shoot this harpoon, that's gonna bait in the flash and he immediately flashed. There was no, oh, I'm harpooning and I'm waiting to see if he flashes. It's instant. APA is here though. They're gonna look for this potentially, see if uh, Whippo does go forward on impact. You can see impact's like playing a little bit dumb. He's like, ah, oh, I gotta get this caster minion. Gonna step up, at the very least, APA will help him reset the wave. It's no TP on impact, so you do need help pushing out these waves, absolutely. But Inspired is here as well, ah. and they can actually look to fight this. Good ward from APA is going to show Inspired on top of that bush. And now there's a TP top as well holy from Jensen. Holy. There is three top. They're trying to hard hold this freeze. Pupo is telling them if he can't reset, he's Jensen. screwed. Yeah, flash committed from Inspired because they know that impact doesn't have his own flash. It's a kill. Uh oh, good flash. Flash is expended by pretty much everyone in this bot set. That was really fast from Yon, though. If he got passive rooted there, he probably would have been dead. And Whippo may just be dead here. Yeah, no flash on this crocodile. And he's getting turned into a belt. Umpty picks up the kill. Wow, this, this top side control for Team Liquid. Umpty, after finishing up on that Gromp, rotates over and they catch the no flash Renekton. The variability here of them gets kills in 2v2s, but also when they play curse safe. Him? Yes. <laughs> Core JJ still has flash, but he gets Sorry. turned up. Kobe, how could you? Oh Team Liquid fans are out in force for Kobe as Jan is also going to get caught out as well. Damned if you talk about them, damned if you don't. And the Steve ball is going to be outside your house with a pitchfork. <clears throat> no, no comment. Uh, Kobe, but, uh, I'm telling you right that now, was do that was not... a double curse too. You didn't even just curse one guy. Kobe, do not check your DMs after this game. Yeah, well, definitely uh, not getting paid by Steve. I, 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 I will check my PayPal just to make sure the Papa Smithy uh, <laughs> donation came through. Whoa.
Now flash from Umti, it's answered back by Masu, but he gets the knock up with the three talent strike and impact should be able to burn him down with the flame right. spitter. Also on top side. So yeah, they got some stuff back on bot side, but still this is really good for Whippo. Uh, and impact did kind of hurt his game a little bit by going down there, I think. But and support Rome comes out first for Team Liquid. So Core JJ's got the early vision and it looks like they are gonna Oh! The flash! It's just a solo oh. kill the ignite! He follows him afterwards! Whoa, whoa. Stayed around so long, he just got all that gold, hadn't even got back to base! Oh, look at this though, they're gonna get some payment! Yeah, Impact doesn't have flash, but Core JJ is here. The Cataclysm locks him down, Core JJ tries to answer back, no way, he lives! Team Liquid comes to the rescue and is able to trade one back on Inspire before Impact finally goes down to Whippo as, uh-oh, this is not good for Yawn, was caught out. By the 2v1, Busi and Mas Masu, they know that he still doesn't have flash from the bottom lane skirmish. Korje is charging up, but Whippo was already here and prevents them from getting on top of Masu. Inspire commits his own EQ over the wall, and I don't think he has flash. I mean, he gave 100 gold in lead for TL. And we're going for another invade here. FlyQuest C1. Poor JJ gets caught out first. Umpty tries to rally around him for support. Yawn over the wall. China. Whoa! Inspired flashes over the chain of corruptions with the Cataclysm. <laughs> but is he stuck now? He's already committed the flash. He's dead. He's gone. Oh. Team Liquid now chasing the rest of Team Fly. the day, uses, oh. all, uses his flash, dies for it, and gets nothing. And now TL looking for Whippo. Action continues on a Whippo. No flash available. Pops the Dominus, the Equalizer. It's a great choke point. It forces them down towards the lane, but they get run down by Team Liquid. Another two kills to their side. APA has been doing better. He's been solid in this series so far. Even last week, he's probably had some of his best. Uh, for Team Liquid, they could probably go two objectives at once. Impact get bottom. It looks like they're gonna rotate their bottom lane up to wow. mid. It's an early rotation from FlyQuest up to top side. Try and push API off and at least answer objectives and get a turret for themselves as well. APA respects it. That's gonna give this tower over to FlyQuest side. I mean, Inspired has been super proactive trying right now. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna steal that for sure. Umpty was trying to steal it, but they're bullying them all away from the, the Herald item itself. Cataclysm right on top of Umpty and Core JJ. Umpty is trying to flash away towards the right side where the rest of Team Liquid is waiting. Here oh! comes the APA Nico special. This is what he made a name for himself last summer in the LCS when he debuted. Umpty goes down as they trade one back onto Pwipo as Impact gets caught up by the charm a little too far, but he has the stasis and the rest of the reinforcements come through. Oh! Core JJ with the cavalry. Oh, baby. Team Liquid are cooking FlyQuest. Oh my god. Man. I feel like both teams have a lot of ego in this game. Oh yeah. Maybe a lot. Jensen charging forward, looking for Yawn. Lands the charge. Nice. Yawn is cooked. Shutdown goes over to Jensen. And now the rest of Team Liquid have to play defensively. Magna Storm trades back, but he still goes down as Core J falls to Jensen. Inspired almost goes out in the equalizer. His impact. He's got nowhere else to run. Shutdown goes over to Masu and FlyQuest. Our team has the edge. And the other team swings right back with an uppercut. And, and it's really key with the two carries on double item power Spire. there. They're going to push up mid. Busio. I mean, Yawn is a sitting duck there. No flash available. Easy cataclysm. But the counter engage from Core JJ is massive. Yawn, does he survive the ignite? It's getting close. He falls. But the rest of the fight continues on as APA lands a pop blossom. Gets caught out by the rest of FlyQuest. Whipple slices him down. Umpty and Impact holding their ground. It's a three on two. In advantage for FlyQuest. The charm connects. No further damage will follow as oh, no. they land the trench line into the flat stun from Blippo! Impact is taken off the rip! And Umpty is trying to survive, trying to answer one on back. Oh, he finds Busio's oh. trench line's a little too far, but it was for the greater good of FlyQuest! Man, how right many... onto the Baron. So you have to keep eyes on it from the TL side, and you can see the vision is starting to go more and more over towards FlyQuest. Stop dragon stacking, we're going to lose, so FlyQuest just give it to them and go for Baron instead. Something is up though for Team Liquid. They know that it, there's a potential that they are burning down Baron while they get the dragon. Unfortunately for them, it's just a little too late. Clean take of the Baron. And as they go to the dragon, they're already up there, two manning the Baron. And then once they realize, okay, it's too late. DK was getting in his head, but he's bounced back. Really solid scoreline for himself. As we see, APA is going to get Dove under tower here. Two man from Whippo and Busio. The Pop Blossom doesn't do that much damage, but the tower aggro might. But Busio walks out of range, and the dive is executed cleanly. Now, even with APA juking them out with the clone, actually made Whippo use his spells on that clone. They're still able to get as experience as far as farm, because he has to group with the team since yep. he has no TP. Yep. Even with nine kills, he's not actually that strong compared to what Whippo is now. Yeah, FlyQuest have stopped taking the flips in 
terms of getting Team Liquid a potential advantage back in this game and just playing the map with the guaranteed teleport advantage that they always have. APA is waiting for a flank. Teleport comes in early from Jensen, trying to cut them off on the right side. And that's going to force APA's teleport as well. Turns into a minion, sees if he can scout, finds Jensen towards the bottom side of the map, and the dragon has been started up. Okay, so they saw APA try and wrap around. They just burned the sound. I mean, Inspired is nowhere near in range. 2,000 HP, he tries to EQ in. What? Monster stole it! I don't know how he stole it. The Pop Blossom comes in. They're going to try to land it on Busio, but the Fates Call keeps Busio alive. Impact finds Busio in the back, but Jensen is trying to look for an angle to try and hit them back. Yon flash through the wall, <laughs> finds Masu in the back. Team Liquid grouping around Yon. He can still carry them through this fight, but Whippo, Inspired, and Jensen still stand. I don't know how Masu stole that dragon as Inspire presses the charge, looking for Umti. He's gonna charge away. I need to see oh, a CS games here, and now FlyQuest gonna run it back on Baron. Really nice chunk from Jensen on the core, JJ. 50% of his HP is gone. Charm lands once again on the Umti. It forces his ulti out. And Jensen is smurfing. This yeah. is actually crazy. He is just hitting every charm this game. It feels like it's point click. He's level 17. Whoa. Wait, the Blast Gun just punts Whippo right back into APA. He's forced to use the pop ups of He doesn't even go off. Jensen assassinates him. It's a five on four against Team Liquid. Inspire can go for the guaranteed cataclysm on the off, but he's firing. Can Whippo? Put him down at the ground. Yes, he does. FlyQuest, take this fight with such clean execution. Team Liquid are gone. Man, this is some of the best games I can remember from Jensen in his career. Like, he is just so dominant in this series. Talia game one, Ari game three, deathless on it, hitting every single charm, playing the side lane perfectly, crushing TL. After a second game defined victory from Team Liquid, it is Jensen that corrals the team with a bounce back score, 6-0 and 15 on the Ari, being able to show that the playoff experience is coming through. Wait, Busio died to the Nexus Tower, but FlyQuest should be able to still finish off the game. FlyQuest move to match point. What a fun... Oh, or it's Volley Top. Yep. It's oh, Volley it's Top. The Whippo Volley. Whippo. Oh, it's the Whippo that's Volley. That's so good. Oh, we should have known. We talked about every level other one. They spot each other, so I think we'll probably back off. But Busio is. He might have to level E. He's got a level E. Uh oh. Busio's in trouble. Too There's late. Phantom Undertow. It is too late. Bye. Flash available. The question will come down to. Oh. APA might be in trouble. Satchel charge over the walls. No mana. He's out of there. But the dive will commence on the bottom side of the map. And it's for Busio first. <laughs> but the flash shattering strike guarantees the side. Yeah, there's no point in like flashing your E on top of him there when he's full health, he's not going to die. It's just a tier been picked up for Jensen. Uh, Bwipo picking up his tier early as who is a difference maker. Because Pike can snowball, you can get a lot of gold in your pockets if things go right, but yeah. it is very tough to play from behind. A little curious, this is an early... Excuse? And a decent amount of people bottom lane have just loved doing this little... Just the Dirk, yeah. yeah this oh, the shove connects, APA. I don't think he's getting out of this one. He still has a flash. The Satchel Char keeps him safe, but Busio comes in for the kill while MT is trying to distract both Jensen and Inspired. Core JJ is here for the fight as well, but it's too late. They got the kill that they wanted. Pike Diff. Pike Diff. Roams up. What other support could have done that? <laughs> Nothing. No one. No one. Uh-oh, Yawn in the 1v2. Busio looks for the Phantom Undertow Flash. Yawn flashes out at the right time. Ignite is taking him down. It's going to force him out of this fight. But Core JJ and Umti continue the charge. Punish Busio for the And Umti is here once again. Masu has Flash. Shattering Strike does not flash that, but flashes the crash down and the teleport's coming in. And Umti might just die here. Flashes the Chain of Corruption, but Jensen is here for the... Oh! Great sidestep from Umti, sidestepping the seismic shove. He walks on out. Sidestepping with the metal pants on, nonetheless. Over the rock field, gets out alive. Meanwhile, some little bit of poke damage on the return. Everybody just going for resets here at 14 Liquid, though. Should be able to get it back. Oh, oh but they're looking for Yawn. They know that he doesn't have Flash, and it's an easy setup from Inspired and Jensen. So they... Almost any champion in the game anymore. Yeah. Meanwhile, as MT is clearing out these grubs, Core JJ moved with Yon to mid lane to make sure that they could guarantee the grubs. But APA, oh no, there's no flash available on the little Yordle anymore. The Satchel Charge gets some distance, but not enough to get away from the bear. All right, let's see about get that play down on bot, but Masu can't even push up to get a play. They can't take the dragon. So TL again, gonna be pretty happy, I think, with the- Huge play. believer in the new Seraphs. He has gone Seraphs yeah. every single time. 
and that uh, transform shield is big. Uh-oh, APA, Satchel Charge, but Inspired waits for that first so he can commit his ultimate, and Jensen is teleported to the play. APA is the first one taken out in this fight. Core JJ and Yawn are collapsing in. The Weave as well tries to cut them off for an escape route, but Busio's in there looking for the ultimate. Gets one execute, a double for Busio, and now Yawn and Core JJ are in trouble. The Fate's Call is gonna keep Core JJ safe. Yawn still has a flash. To play. Honestly, though, it was all about the FlyQuest top side mm -hmm. of the map, starting it out, of course. Uh, and nice little job there from Jensen. A lot Jensen. of questions for him after the Dignitas year came to a very, very rough end for them. And then when FlyQuest announced that they were picking up Jensen, obviously... I, I think even when we did the voting, he was only behind Bjergsen, if I recall correctly. Um, you know, this is a guy who has had an insane amount of success. He's done well internationally as well, but he was in a position in his career where he had to reprove himself yet again, right? Because he had a couple down years. And League of Legends and esports in general is very much, what have you done for me lately? So Jensen now was in that spot. He He's proven himself again that he can play at this highest level. He doesn't have Weaver's Wall to join the fight, but he still has teleport, or maybe not quite yet. Umpty, Force the Flash is gonna get, get caught out by Chain of Corruptions. The Magna Storm has just popped to buy some time for the rest of Team Liquid, because now FlyQuest are on the hunt looking for more. Whiffle already popped the ultimate, but they have to kite on back. FlyQuest are starting to slowly pincer them from the left side. Core JJ turns right onto Whippo. Does he have ult available? The Satchel Charge interrupts his escapes. Now he just turns right back on the APA because he's got nowhere else to run. Free pick for Team Liquid, and they're going to run Nice right. job from Team Liquid. Did he not have his ult? Yeah, I was kind of expecting him just ult the That's actual. what I was waiting for, too. Because uh, he's normally so good. So I thought he had the ult available, so I was a little bit surprised they didn't just try to ult away or something. Ended up going back in, maybe overestimating how tanky he was going to be. I'm looking Either at it way, right though. now. It had 12 seconds okay. so left quite on the down. cooldown. Yeah. Makes so, sense. I, again, but APA is ahead of Jensen in gold because he has gotten access to a a lot of these towers has died a few times, but uh, definitely in a good spot as they're gonna look to try to chase down impact. Weaver's Wall is coming in from Jensen. They're gonna cut off his escape route. He does not have flash. He would have to wait for someone to go over to the Weaver's Wall and just try to all out this way. He goes to that side as, instead, and Umti is there to corral him out of the safety. Jensen takes a lot of damage on the back end. Do Team Liquid want to force a fight? They're gonna look for it. Not quite yet. Chain of Corruptions lands. Umti is forced out. Whippo is forced to use his own ultimate as a retreat method. Um, playing it safe, Umpty and Impact have been really good for uh -oh. one, but... Flash, cease and desist from Inspired APA. No way that he's getting out of this one, so he's gonna hold on to the Flash. 40 he could survive in this fight. Yeah, and Yon actually has his uh, Rage Blade now as well, so he sold the Dirk. They're looking for, for Jensen, Nick? though. Q Flash right onto Jensen. Mega Furnal Bomb for the Alley Oop. That's a Jensen dead in the mid lane. And the rest of Impact and Core JJ are just holding the line, buying FlyQuest's time here in the river. They could not start up the Dragon, and Team Liquid are just going to hurry on over. This objective should be theirs. Five versus four in the river. That is such a costly death there from Jensen. Dies and going to give over Soul now pretty much for free. That could really hurt FlyQuest's chances going further in this game. Team Liquid have got the picks that really meant something uh, as we see some more trading. With FlyQuest, with their multiple picks they got onto APA, they have been able to get some Spent big this whole build to, to drain tank and to heal up. And then now the whole TL <laughs> squad is going to be able to have healing. Oh, Core JJ forced to flash away. Busio pulled him in with the Bone Skewer, but the face call is going to keep him safe. Umpty leads the charge alongside Impact as Whippo is holding Core JJ and Yon back. But Yon is now stacking up the Ren stacks, looking to hop forward. Whippo is out of the fight for now. Busio also forced to retreat on the right side. They find Inspired and they take him out. Masu is cornered in the Baron pit as he's forced to flash oh. over the wall. Doesn't die, but is too. Too low to fight in this. And it's TL just going right onto the Baron with that. They have Ocean Soul to seal right back up. So Jensen and Busio have to stay around. Whippo is trying to heal back up as well. And Masu, no health, but he's going to stay here and look for a piercing arrow. I mean, the hope is that Jensen is going to pray for the magic resist debuff from the Baron and try to get some burst damage onto these carries. Whippo walks right back in after healing on up. 3,000 HP, Whippo onto APA. The cleanse from Yawn keeps him alive. 3,000 HP still on the Baron. They deal with Whippo. They find Busio. Clean and patient play from Team Liquid will put themselves. Everyone else isn't a great option. If you spend your full combo on core, yeah. you're going to lose the fight. So it's really Yawn or bust. And both of the carries from Team Liquid still have flash available. So even if FlyQuest full send the entire assassination combo, there's still a summoner spell that you have to play around. As Team Liquid just brute force through the bottom side of the map, the inhibitor is taken. And Core, 
Umti is going to try to force this Magna Storm inspired right onto the back line as well. They pour in everything. They find Yawn. This could be a turning point for FlyQuest. Bone Skewer looks for the first ultimate, but doesn't get the reset off of Core JJ. APA is kiting them out. Can he survive as the Satchel Charge puts him backwards? Whipple is looking for one more mauling smash, but he has to chew through the slows <laughs> of the minefield. And Core JJ's arrows triple kill for APA. And the rest of Team Liquid find Jensen. Match point is for Team Liquid. We're going to Silver Scrapes. Liquid have done it. They're pulling it back. They're sending us to game five with a really strong performance. And they are up and out of their seats in skills out. And if it's well timed, can answer the hard engage. No, uh, not only is this a quintessential counter engage support champion, because they and then you're thinking about, oh, well, if APA had walked up earlier on the big wave in front of oh. him. All but inspired is here, an impact. It might just be cooked here. Ignite is still available, but the CC train guarantees first blood for inspired. Right. Feels pretty good for FlyQuest, but their bottom lane might pay the price. Yeah. Looks like MTQ would over to the Krugs. It's walking over to Bustio first, who's going to take the tower up first. It should be uh, Umti. They get the Ignite down. Does Core JJ dive in the minions? No, clean dive from Team Liquid. They're going to be able to pull off in mid lane APA. Gotcha. Going to be just traded into. It's not going to be really a look for a kill. Uh, this is kind of the Annie classic. Have you seen much Annie in pro play? Tippers is off cooldown. Tippers is getting used. You just constantly use it to try to chunk out your opponent, get pushed in lane. Um, we didn't really get to talk much about the follow-up in top lane. It's in a side lane. And he ended up falling behind in that one. So much in experience as a result. Dazzle stun on Nabusio. Is he... Is he in threatened range? He doesn't have flash. The Rens are stacking up. Yeah, that's a 2v2 clean solo kill from Yawn and Boost. Or Yawn and... Skills on the wave. Then drop to Equalizer. Looks for that pressure. In fact, not going to greet it out. He's just going to base here, though, as TL will get the Dragon off of that bot lane pressure. Looking really strong again. And also, I am a big fan from of... A tier... couple patches ago for AD carries was so nice for Viego. But here's a repeat on top side. Core JJ's top again. 2v1 didn't work, but 3v1. And no Inspired to bail him out this time around. Whippo without the flash cannot get out alive. Umpty takes the kill. So they get the kill. They get a plate. They get grubs. It's... Oh, mid lane's in trouble. And it looks like that is Yawn as the target. Had flash, but the def charge and the point and click CC that we were talking about during the champ select comes through fruition and Yawn is taken down. Yeah, now with that kill, they're going to be able to at least grab one grub for themselves. MT should be able to get out, but grabbing that one grub feels really nice. Even if you just get the one off the two, uh, off of each of the two, you're going to be able to, to deny the Void Might spawns, which is really that most important part. Plus, you get the bonus XP for that first grub that you do take, uh, which is going to feel nice as well. Does mean four Void Grubs for FlyQuest, so neither team is going to get yep. the extra little grubby there whenever they're sieging on the towers, but Impact still going to push Whippo off. Still no flash available for this Crocodile. He's got to be careful. Umpty has kick available. Dashes through. Double teleports are coming in. Both APA and Jensen are going to show up to the fight. They're trying to all in onto Whippo. Both the jungler and the top laner go down here. And Pretty now... low, but couldn't quite get there. Oh, Core JJ might be in trouble. Dodges Whoa. the dredge line. They're cutting this one out. Core JJ still might be in trouble. Inspired commits the Heartbreaker and it's enough damage from Famasu to finish him off. No reset for Inspired as he has to kite away. Yawn cleansing Ooh. the stun from Jensen. Oh, the equalizer. Oh! The great arrow from Masu picks up Yawn in the back half. Impact is trying to equalize the situation here, but he still goes down. APA forced to run. He never went down in lane, and he's able to answer up for it by picking up two clutch kills in that fight. Yeah, definitely credit to him. You know, it did feel like we have to remember back to his last Viego game where he started with two early kills, wasn't able to accomplish much. This time, it's even better start in game five. I mean, on top of it as well, it's not the Sunder Sky Rush for Inspired. It is Kraken Slayer just trying to maximize the damage output. Equalizer comes out. Whippo's already popped the Dominus. Jensen with the teleport. Easy CC setup on impact. APA cannot rectify the wrongs there. Cosmic Radiance is coming down. Yawn Force the oh. flash. Comes just in time for the invulnerability, but he cannot hop, skip, jump away from this one because Inspired locks him down with the Blade of the Rune King. And now he's playing the Callista. He gets the hop, skip, and jump. Finds one on a core JJ. Resets have come through for Inspired. Give up a potential kill over to Team Liquid. They're now still jockeying for position in the mid lane. Dragon is not coming up for three minutes, so there's nothing really to fight for. It does feel tense. And it, and it feels like a flashback to that previous Rumble game. 
Dredge line. MT is trying to look for Moss, who ends up kicking Whipple instead. Takes the resonating strike. They get one kill, but MT is traded out by Inspired. And now he gets to be the least in. Takes the Sonic Wave. Finds APA. He's going to be Ari. Gets the charm out, but Jan through the cleanse. Still goes down. An equalizer from Impact. It's going to turn around the fight and get at least one kill back over for themselves. Two to Team Liquid, but three to FlyQuest. No problem, we play for kills, baby! And they get a bunch of them. 3.6 thousand, the gold lead. They get to push the tower afterwards. This is all well in advance of the Dragon or the Baron coming up. Shoving out waves, keep making you respond to them. And if you don't, guess what? You're just falling further and further behind. And I can't help but think back to the mid lane gank attempt from Umti, where he tried to go for the triple flash to guarantee the charm lock-in from APA, but both were not able to sync up and make that play possible. Well, they stopped the recalls. They're gonna go to try and catch these two. Everybody rotating up topside. Um, team wants the kill and they need to get something, but a teleport from Whippo is gonna put a stop in their tracks. Impact is able to stasis the burst damage from Annie, but Um, team is in trouble, but he's got AP and he's got Yawn. They're corralling right onto Whippo and Jensen. They have to all in everything. Cosmic Radiance is gonna give them the invulnerability to survive. This is huge for Team Liquid. Impact doesn't go down. You're not gonna Varus steal this, are you? I, I, I have to think it with how the series has been. Masu has seen the tape. He knows what Gumiyushi did in World 22 Finals. Can he pull off a miracle? for FlyQuest in their most desperate hour, but he already fired the arrow. Team Liquid will take the Baron. They're gonna get the Baron and they may even get another kill here. Is Busio going a little bit we farther? He's showing banners of all his achievements <laughs> in the LCS. That Back was here. For Team Liquid fans, that moment looked eerily familiar to week six when FlyQuest were leading the early game and suddenly Team Liquid all in. They send nearly everyone towards the top side of the map, same place, not quite the same time, 10 minutes later, but Team Liquid have now put themselves back in a winning position. Baron buff on their side, and they are cruising through these towers. Dredgeline connects, Umti might be in trouble. Whippo walks up, Umti is taken out of the fight. Yon has to kite away from this one. Impact with the Equalizer is gonna split up FlyQuest members here, but Inspired is on the hunt. Looks for Yon, but he gets popped. The flash done with the cleanse from Yon. Keeps himself alive, as now he has to run because the rest of the members of FlyQuest want to run them down, but they just might have gained enough distance to get out. But the portals are coming in. Jensen has a blast cone available. He's got Tibbers and he's looking for Yon. Fate's call. Does he sacrifice Core JJ to keep himself alive? They get a decent bunch of damage down. Ignite, the charm doesn't connect, but it's the armor deception that connects. One for one trading Core JJ for Jensen, and Impact is back. He doesn't have the equalizer, but Basu is out of position. Huge shutdown goes over to Impact. Team Liquid are defying expectations. The all gets them another kill. They take out both the carries. They want more here. Inspired is really trying to hunt them down, Impact and Core JJ. Core has flash, Impact doesn't. Impact might just be gone from this one. Another kill to FlyQuest. Oh, point. Yeah, and just look at this. The initial play, they couldn't find it. It's actually from the bottom of your screens. You can't really see him because of the picture in picture, but look at this. W flash. He's looping around. Oh, he could go He's for Masu seen. here. He wants to go for Masu. He gets stunned up, but he just goes for Inspired instead. But the Heartbreaker gets him out of danger. The invulnerability from Cosmogranius is used early to guarantee the kill on Jensen. FlyQuest trying to flank on the left side, APA. Playing to that choke point. Whippo already popping the Dominus, and Team Liquid have to back off. It looks like for now, Whippo gets in range of impact. The flash dazzle stun. The charm connects on the Masu, but no one can get in range quite yet. The arrow is not going to be enough. Busio forced out of this fight, and Team Liquid should be guaranteeing themselves this Baron. They've got it. They got the Baron. They handle the situation. Through two lanes with that Baron buff. Flash is still not back up for Masu, but it is back up for Jensen. The Equalizer forces FlyQuest off. That should buy enough time for Yon to take out the second tier turret in the bottom lane. Team from Lee Sin, so it must have been a case where he had just enough gold for it. Yeah. The regular season, those were best of ones, but it's even showing up in the best of fives in the upper bracket. Equalizer onto Jensen. Stand strong, using the stasis from APA. Jensen is gone, teleport comes in from Quippo. Remember, he doesn't have flash from before. Cosmic Radiance is gonna come in. They try to save Impact and Omti, but they get bursted down. Busio with the flash, tries to look for APA. He flashes backward. Yon is free hitting, look at Rion. He's got cleanse and he's got flash still available, but he's kiting this one out. The flash from his prior to try to connect the stun, but the charm from APA keeps him alive. Yon flashes backward, but the resets are pouring in. The arrow from Basu, is this it? 
This tilting Jensen down. APA goes in, hits the charm so that Jensen burns down in the CC. They assassinated the Kalista, trying to kite for the Kalista's life. Now they've got the Baron. They can turn the tides once again. In that last fight, the main rookie from FlyQuest standing up. If they're going to do it. Jensen trying to get in towards his death cap, has the pieces, so would love to have that completed. But I the dragon's gone, it's too slow, right? They get the poke, they couldn't find a way in. Oh Masu boy. is so annoying for Luddy. It's all about the burst at this point in the game. Wants to have that for this potential final fight. Is Fly's gonna look? Poor JJ gets caught, but it's the face call. Immediately, Equalizer tries to dissuade the fight. The Equalizer and the Cosmic Radiance comes down by some time. Whippo with the stasis. Umpty tries to look for the kick onto Inspire, but Impact falls. Poor JJ falls. Yon is still trying to kite this one out. APA was not there for the fight. It didn't have teleport, and FlyQuest immediately pulled the trigger. Yeah, they go, no hesitation. In goes Busio. Jensen finds the angle for the Flash Tibbers. It's up to Yon and Umpty to try to make something happen here with APA. They have a couple minions they're trying to protect. They cut the wave here from Umpty. Ah! APA's gonna go in, but he's just gonna die. He just pops the stasis, he's trying to spear rush through. I don't know what that was. Yon is also trying to do something, but he's just a marksman against all five members. Inspired goes in for the killing blow. Umpty has to recall, and FlyQuest could just look to end it right here as they don't have any more threats to deal with. Umpty, the last one to defend, but it won't be enough. FlyQuest overcome mental warfare and adversity, but the resilience pays off true.